and welcome all of you uh, those who have joined especially from Bangalore, uh, Delhi, uh, Hyderabad and some different locations of this country. So today we are going to learn about uh, VHDL language. So you can see this is a VHDL. Now VHDL stands for very high speed IC hardware descriptive language. If you are to understand this then let us have a start with uh, begin with some small uh, and operation. So you can take small here AND gate. So basically this is a symbol of the AND gate. So for that AND gate this A as an input for the AND gate and this B is also input for the AND gate and this C as an output for this AND gate. If you want to realize uh, this AND operation then you can take a simple electrical circuit, very simple electrical circuit. Let us say this is a battery and uh, this is a switch A. You can call this is switch A and you can call this is switch B and you can say this is your uh, lamp. So this is a very simple electrical circuit. You can name as this is A, uh, you can name this is as B and you can name this is as a C. So in order to operation the working of this circuit then you try to map in simple uh, table. So here you can see that this A switch is let us say off, B switch is off, then lamp will be off. So if you want to make this lamp on, then both switches must be on. This is the operation of AND gate. And in that truth table of this operation of AND gate, let us say this is A, this is B and this output is uh, C. Then you can say that this is 0, 0 stands for OFF, this B is 0, 0 stands for OFF and this Y stands for OFF. So if you make this A is let us say, if you make A is let us say some uh, 1, B is if you make 0 then C output will be also 0. Well, if you make this is 1 and this is 0 then this will be also 0. If you want to make this get on then this light on then this A must be 1, uh, this B must be 1 then only Y must be 1. So basically this is a small root table or operation for this particular AND gate. Now if you want to design this with the help of software called uh, offered by the Xilinx and in that Xilinx software uh, you have to write the program right now. So how to write the program? So in the Xilinx software there is a, some standard library defined by the IEEE that the IEEE standard library defined as IEEE you can say IEEE 11164 that is a standard library and once you enter in the library then first of all you can use some standard STD or we can call it as a you can use here first of all uh, IEEE you can say IEEE then use US use STD logic so dot all all files will get uh, into the circuit similarly uh, you can define uh, that uh, uh, arithmetic logic you can say arithmetic dot all arith dot all and similarly you can define a std standard logic uh, you can define unsign dot all so basically this is a library de declaration that is the first step and in the second step you can define a entity declaration. Now in entity declaration, in entity declaration means you can define for this particular AND gate, A you can define as an input, similarly B you can define as an input so, and similarly C you can define as an output. In this way, this is a entity declaration, you have to go for the entity declaration and once you finish this entity declaration stage, then you can go for the uh, actual architecture of this particular gate. So basically if you go for the architecture, this is architecture, uh, you can go for the architecture. Now in architecture, our AND is, you can say C is assigned as A and uh, B and then you can say N. So this is a very simple program, let us go for the software actually here. So here in this software, you can see the, in the first portion we have defined 
library called IEEE library IEEE standard logic 1164.all and uh, similarly arithmetic.all and unsigned.all so this is basically library de declaration and once the library declaration is completed then you can go for the entity declaration so in the entity declaration you can define the ports for that AND gate A is an input port similarly B is an input and C is an output so you can see A is an input B input and C is an output that you have to define and then you can say end and then you can go for the architectural uh, design in the architectural design different modeling so architectures will be there so here we can take behavioral modeling and in the behavioral modeling you can say that C is assigned as A and B and then you can say end behavioral model once this program is completed then you can go for the actually uh, signal declaration here different signals uh, will be defined so here A, A this uh, window will appear this A is input B is input and C is output so here you can say this this, this portion my A is high and my B is low and here I have defined a is high and B is low and similarly here we have defined A is high and vice versa in this way you can define the signal and you will find this is a C is a output now C is low as of now so let us execute the program if you execute the program then you can see in this output A is input B is input and C is output so you will find that so whenever A is high and B is high then only your output is high else your output is so basically this is a uh, actual operation of the AND gate so in this way we have to proceed for the further for the uh, different operations